please select the card. Any card is possible. Take it out. All right, and look at it and remember it, please. Okay, let's have a look. The file of spade. Okay, put it back in the middle of the deck and we get it loose. Okay. All right, we can shuffle it a little bit more. Now it's really fair, right? Okay. Um, this time, um, I'm not going to uh, find your card, but you. You will find your own card yourself, all right? Okay, as I spread, just say stop any way you want. Stop! All right, here. Okay, these are your two chances. I will give you three chances, and these are the two out of three. Was that your card, the six of heart? No? Or the five of heart? Not your card? Alright. Then for the third chance and your last chance, stick your finger out like this and push it up on these two cards slightly. Up, 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 up. Alright, one card is rising. And it is sandwiched between your first chance and your second chance. What was your card? Five of spade. Oh, great. You did a great job. Thank you for watching. Yeah, coming to the explanation. This is called Three Chances by John Kerry, and John Kerry is really a nice magician who is. Um, He's uh, famous for streamlining um, card tricks with very, very simple moves and with great impact. And this is one of it. You can start off um, with a really fairly shuffled deck. And just let the spectator pick one card. Any card is possible. Let's say this one here. And as they look at their card, they are also um, allowed to sign it. It doesn't matter, it's up to you. You spread further and go um, until you have the, the last four cards. Okay, these four cards. Oh, okay, these four cards. Okay, and you take a break above these four cards and close the spread again. Alright, and you do that. Um, while the spectator is looking at their card. Alright, when you want to take back the selected card, you transfer the pinky break to the right hand thumb break, like this. Okay, and then do a swing card. Take back the selected card on top of it and close the packet. But now, again, transferring the thumb break again to back to the pinky break all right now the um, the mission is uh, to uh, to get the packet um, underneath the break again uh, on top of the packet you can do it by cutting above the break at the break and put the rest on top then you have the four in different cards and the selected card. Okay. For the purpose of um, explanation, I will leave the selected card face up. All right. Now you are in this position. Okay. Um, you have a um, bunch of other alternatives to get the packet. When you are in this position with the pinky break, like that, to get this packet again t on top of the pack. You can do it by um, over and shuffling face up. You take the packet above the break while you flip over the bottom packet face up and shuffle off. Then you have again this position, the four indifferent card with the selection at the fifth position. Okay, why? Why do you need this um, card in the fifth position? Because you want to uh, perform a Hofzinser cull which looks like that, one, two, three, four, and now this card is cut, all right? Okay, and it looks face down like that, one, two, three, four, cut, 
and spread along. Right. Now, again, to the fifth position, face up. The uh, half sensor color works like that. You spread off the four cards. And when you see the fifth card, you go back with the right hand to cover the fifth card and put your uh, left hand thumb on, onto the fourth card. Okay, You don't touch the fifth card with your left hand thumb. And underneath, you are able to slide the selected card, the fifth card, out like that. Right from above, it looks like that. You put your left thumb only uh, on the fourth card, and it's not not touching the fifth card, so that the fifth card is movable, and you can uh, slide it out underneath the spread. Okay. Now you separate the spread a little bit more until the selected card clears the packet. You can hear it and you can feel it. Okay. Alright, now you're in that position and you spread along and all the cards go above the colored card, which is the selected card here, in this case, the two of hearts. Alright, now you spread, spread, spread and all the cards go um, above the selected card, but don't let, let it loose like that because they, they will see that card. Okay, let, and spread, spread, spread until they say stop for their uh, first two chances and now you clamp and hold the uh, rest of the packet with your right hand and the selected card is still on the bottom okay this is the bottommost card okay now you turn over the uh, two cards which are the two chances and say these are these your cards the king of clubs no then you position them uh, one above and one below the selected card. So you feed them in. One is going above. Okay, this is the selected card. And one is going below. Okay, but in real performance, this card would be face down like that and is sandwiched between these two cards. Okay, now you're in that position. Then you close the spread, hold the packet um, vertically and let the spectator put out their finger like that and push up on these two cards. And they will feel and see that one card is rising. Okay. Before you reveal the card you spread until you see the sandwich card and say this is the first chance, this is the second chance, and this is your third chance, the two of hearts. Okay, this is three chances by John Kerry, and I will perform that uh, without any pattern again for you, only to see how it looks like. Now you have it, have fun with it and practice a lot.